Agent Training Video 10 Measuring Tall Things and Long Things OK, Agent. I wonder what will be in the video today. Wow! It's me! Or a picture of me anyway. Now in this picture, do you think I'm as tall as the number taker? Who's taller, me or the number taker? Can you tell? Or maybe somebody else is taller. Spooky Spoon? So, Agent, who is the tallest? Spooky, the number taker or me? It's a bit hard to tell. So how can we make it easier to measure us? Let's have something for us all to line up on. I'll go first. Now you, Spooky. Come on down, number taker. Now we're all lined up, it's much easier to see who is taller. Who is the tallest? Who is the shortest? An arrow makes it even easier to measure us against each other. Spooky is definitely taller than me in this picture. And the number taker is the tallest of us all. Thank you, arrows. So when things are lined up, it's easy to see who is tallest. But what if Spooky and the number taker didn't want to line up nicely? Now it's hard again to see who is tallest, even if we give them something to stand on. So how can we check who is the tallest when things aren't next to each other? Come on, Buddy Blocks, you can help. We can use blocks to measure how tall we are. Count the blocks, Agent. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm six blocks tall. Now let's use the same size blocks to measure the meanies. Count the block. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Spooky is seven blocks tall. And what about the number taker? Must use the same size blocks to be fair. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. The number taker is eight blocks tall. Better just check we counted correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six blocks for me. Count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Spooky, you are seven blocks tall. And check the number taker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight blocks for you, number taker. So even though we're not lined up side by side, you can be sure who is tallest. Not me, just six blocks tall. Not Spooky, seven blocks tall. The tallest is the number taker, eight blocks tall. That's okay for measuring tall things. Can you measure long things? Which of these bars is longest? Yellow, red 
or blue? You can make a guess, but it's hard to be sure. Would it help if we lined them up? Let's get a line to use. And let's line the bars up. Yellow. Red. And blue. Now it's much easier to compare them. The shortest bar is red. And the longest bar is blue. But what if those bars are all jumbled up? Can we still measure them to check which is longest? This time, let's use discs. Count how many discs we need to measure how long the red bar is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Use the same discs to measure the yellow bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And use the same discs to measure the blue bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Always good to check those numbers. Count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The red bar is seven discs long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The yellow bar is eight discs long. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The blue bar is nine discs long. So a good way to measure how long things are is to use something like discs and count them. Or use blocks and count them to measure how tall things are. Why don't you try measuring how tall or how long things are? Now you know how to do it. Well done, agent. Here's your certificate. This Numberjacks agent has watched Training Video 10, Measuring Tall Things and Long Things. The